Japan and China by pieces. Japan is taking China by pieces? How is this taking by pieces? No, no, from tail first. Okay, they're, they're, going to tail, they're taking it off their tail first, alright? Now, what, what's happening in the cartoon? Dinosaurs. Oh, Japan already has some lands. China just realized that. Okay, what, what, Japan already has some of China's lands. China. What lands are these? Um, like those... What, what does it say here? Mukdan. No, I can't see. It's hard to see, right? Manchurian uh, province. Oh. Yeah. Well, actually, no, no. It says northern provinces. Yeah, so Manchuria and Jehol. So here you have Japan already cutting off northern provinces. What else is there, though? The sleeping giant begins to feel as if they didn't notice it. So right. Much. The sleeping giant begins to feel. Actually, you, you're, you got part of that, right? Um, the truth is, China during that time was called the sleeping giant. Actually, Napoleon called China the sleeping giant. Well, because he, um, no, not because he didn't react, because China hasn't modernized yet. And Napoleon himself said that, you know, once China, China is like a sleeping giant, once it wakes up, it's going to shake the world. Nobody did it. Well, you can make the argument that China's waking up now, yeah. right? But before then, um, no. So the sleeping giant begins to feel is, yeah, you're, you're, you're right in the sense that, yeah, it's China's waking up from the pain. What else? What's, well, okay, what's some denotation in here? China. Okay, China. Okay, what's the, what's the denotation about China? It's big. China is big like a dinosaur. What's the connotation? Pardon? The size of the country, it's okay. The connotation of the country is huge. What else though? Not only just huge. Power. Okay. What do you mean by power though? That's true. Ah. Yeah. He cannot touch the tail. Okay, he can't save the tail? He's powerless. He, does he look powerless to you? No. Oh, but only on but the he just does nothing. nothing. Mickey, what did you say? It's doing nothing to stop. It's doing nothing, but if China wow. decides, but here's the implication, if China decides to get up and do something about it, what's going to happen? Oh, right? And that's the whole idea is, yeah, even though Japan's taking China piece by piece, if you look at this picture, does Japan really stand a chance? No. Right? I think it's pretty obvious, according to this cartoon, that Japan, despite you know, taking some parts of the provinces, if China gets up and runs at Japan, Japan's going to be in trouble. I think that's one of the messages that's in there, the connotations. Okay, what else? What other denotations are there? China's supply. Yeah, that's a good one, actually. China's supporting a supply of resources to Japan because here you have Japan's lunch basket, and he's and Japan is storing up pieces of China to supply itself. That's a good point. Similar to territory, like so, in the middle, China yes. is big, in the, in the middle. Yep. Like okay, so in the, the in China proper, the yeah. middle of China it's big, yeah. but the side outside, they don't really and outside it's kind of like. Far out. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if that's exactly true, but that's a good idea. That's a good idea, but I'm not sure if it's, that's exactly true. That's because Manchuria was considered part of China, and so I wouldn't say they wouldn't want to go defend it. No one is helping. No one is helping. Good. That's another good one. No, no, no one else is really in the picture. Okay. Excellent. Those are excellent observations. So. Um, like I said earlier, the liberal era was over by the 1920s with the assassination of two prime ministers and the resignation of six prime ministers and uh, but, you know, one died by natural causes. Uh, Japan entered the age of the Dark Valley. And that, this era is really the era which led, uh, in which uh, Japan led um, Militarism led Japan into um, into a road to war. Manchuria, 1931. What happened? Pardon? Mukden incident. Mukden incident. Right, 1931. Mukden incident happened, and it was planned by, like I said in the last slide, it was planned by the Kwantung Army 
Guangdong Army uh, and not by the government. What's the difference between the Guangdong Army and government? What is the difference between the Guangdong Army and the government? Talked about this yesterday. Is it Guangdong? Is it outside? Like, outside? Yeah, it's outside of the East Gate. Yeah. So what does that mean? Here's China. Right? Here's Korea. Here's Japan. Korea was part of Japan already. China has the Great Wall. East of the gate is called Guangdong. So what's the Guangdong Army? Guangdong Army. Out of the outside of Great Wall. Yeah, it's right outside, outside of Great Wall. So what does it mean? No. Is it Japanese? Yeah, it's the Japanese army. And what about the Japanese army? They're controlling what? Yeah, okay, they control the Manchukuo area. And so the question is, what's the difference between the Kwandong army and the Japanese government? What's the difference? Yeah, okay, very good. The Guangdong army act on their own, uh, on whatever they wanted to do, and the Japanese government was powerless. If you look at the previous slide, right, Osachi Hamaguchi was the prime minister during that time. Not this Giichi. This guy, Osachi Hamaguchi, was the prime minister at that time. He died in 1931. He got assassinated in 1931. He was the one who protested and wanted to have ja the Japanese, uh, the Japanese responsible for the Kwantung Army arrested, and then he got assassinated. Okay, so that's the significance of Manchuria in 1931, in that the the prime minister wanted the prime minister and the military obviously went on different paths and had different opinions. Manchuria, there was a takeover, and Manchukuo was founded as a result of this. You guys remember this from the League of Nations test. And Jeho was located, located north of the Great Wall, and that was annexed right after. So if you look here, Manchukuo is this area, Jeho is this area. Manchukuo is this area, Jeho is this area. Well, part of Mongolia, Inner Mongolia, yes. So the relationship between, as a result of these couple of things, Japan and their relationship with the West uh, slowly deteriorated. In 1932, there was a Shanghai bombing. Japan bombed Shanghai. And then as a result of that, uh, not as a result of that, right after that, Japan left the League of Nations in 1933 because of the, light, because the League of Nations accepted what report? Like after uh, Lighten. the Lighten report, right? The Lighten report, which went to investigate uh, Japan's takeover of Manchuria. The Lighten report, basically. How do you spell that? L y t t o n. Japan left after the League of Nations accepted the Lighten report, and then they were also unhappy with the with the Washington Naval Conference. Uh, because of because they were assigned a, what was the ratio again? 1.75 1.67 1.67 1.67 1.67 okay, Japan was unhappy with the Washington Naval Con uh, Treaty because they were assigned a smaller ratio to America and so they left that as well and so that really was really Japan's path to undoing everything in the 1920s 1920s they did they made some successful steps and integrating themselves into the international community. But the 1930s, they just left. In uh, three years. So here, once again, you look at here, this is uh, uh, Japan, Korea, Manchukuo, right? Harbin's here, Mukden 